Hi everyone, there was some interest in how to use this uh, tool that I've created, this class list tool. Uh, the idea is that it's difficult to uh, look at all of your students um, as a whole grade level uh, from the comfort of your home and be able to assign them into future classes for the following school year. Um, we usually do that on like a note card or some sort of paper and pencil system. And so I was trained to think of a way that I would be able to do this with my grade, le grade level colleagues um, to make this easier for us and to be able to see all of the data in one document. And so I went ahead and created this Google Sheets. Um, there was some interest in how to use this. So if you would like to know how to use this, um, then you're in the right place. To give you just a little background about myself, I teach second grade. And so this sample uh, class that you see here is my class. I've of course changed the names and some of the confidential information. Uh, but this is a good example uh, to look at as we get started. So there are five total sections at the elementary school that I teach at. Um, so that's a lot of kids <laughs> to try to kind of think about and to think about their needs and to think about the teachers for next year and not overwhelming any of them um, academically or socio-emotionally with the different groups of students. And so the idea is that you can share this document with your grade level colleagues so that you can have all of the information in one place for everyone to look at at the same time. Um, so starting first on this first page, I created this Google Sheets document to kind of include all of the information that we usually look at when we're thinking about class lists for next year. So here's the student names. Um, there's a checkbox for boy or girl. Um, the teacher from last year, which was which would be me in this case. Um, reading and math overall. Are they a high student, medium student, or low student? Um, and so I've used this key over here to assign them a three, two, or one, depending on how comfortable they are um, in those content areas. And I've also color coded that so it's easy to see um, where those students are that excel in that content area, where those students are that, um, you know, are kind of middle of the road, and then where those students are that need extra support. Um, and then just some some information that uh, would be nice for next year's teacher to know. And then there's a drop down menu here um, with the different academic and behavioral plans. If you scroll down to the bottom, I have created a um, kind of like a list view of the different important values that I think are important when we look at the different classes. Um, so I've used different formulas to calculate how many girls how many boys, um, I happen to have 12 of each this year, which was great. Um, and then how many high, medium, and lows for both reading and math. And then how many speech, ESL, IEP, 504, and then pull out service, uh, pull out intervention students that you have. So this is my class from this past year. I filled this out before meeting with my uh, grade level colleagues. And so you can kind of see that it's here and ready to go for you. So the first thing that you'll need to do is enter your own class data from this school year into the Excel sheet. So my example or my sample is right here. That's the page we were just looking at. Here is master class one. I added master in front to, you can always rename this too, just by simply right clicking rename. Um, you can also change the color, which might be helpful as well. Um, but I just named it master class one so that you could kind of customize it to fit your needs. So what you'll do is you'll enter your student's name. So just to use my daughter, for example, Nora Ippy. I changed the background of the cell color. Um, if it's a girl, I made it pink. So I went up to this paint bucket and then chose pink. If it was a boy, I made it blue just so I could see um, it color coded. Now, um, I also added check boxes for boys and girls. So I'm gonna really quickly show you how you can do that. I've selected this first cell. I'm going to hit control and highlight all, whoops, sorry, let's try that again. I'm going to hit shift, I said control, shift and highlight all the way down both of these columns. Then I'm going to go to insert and I'm gonna to go to checkbox. That's going to give me a nice checkbox to be able to check. Since Nora's a girl, I'm gonna check girl. In here, I'm going to type the class that she was in from last year. So last year's teacher, um, if she was in my class, which would be very interesting. 
I would type my name here. Um, and then reading, give a rating for three, two, one. If she's very comfortable with reading and didn't need a lot of support, that would be a three. You can see that when I type that value in, that is color coded green. And it also records it down here below, one green or one high student. It will pop you, as you populate the entire sheet here, it, the numbers will, and the numbers and values will change. Um, so then you come over to math, assign a number for math. And again, you can kind of see um, that color has changed. And then if you scroll below, you'll see that you have one medium here. And again, as you populate this sheet, uh, those values will change. So here is where I'd put information about that student. If that student had a nickname that they went by, if that student had a behavioral concerns, any academic concerns, um, any issues with parents or things to know about parents, really anything that you want the next uh, teacher next year to know about the student or their family is where I would list that information. And then here for the academic or behavioral plans, I can click the drop down menu and I can click, um, does the student have an IEP? Is this student, does the student receive speech services? Do they have a 504 plan? Um, do, are they ESL? Do they have pull out interventions? Um, what academic or behavioral plans do they have? If they have none, then you can always just leave it blank. So you're gonna do this for every single student that you have in your class this school year. So when you're all done, I'm back on the master class sample. Your sheets should look something like this, and then you're ready to start uh, copying students into next year's classes. If you scroll along the bottom, you'll see I labeled future class one, future class two, class three, and class four. If you have more than four sections, you can right click and you can duplicate. Um, when you duplicate, that'll make another copy or another template of an empty classroom. And then you can rename it to say future class five or um, like the teacher's names for the next grade level. Um, so all of these for me would be third grade classrooms. So um, future class one, I wanna show you if I had a student in my classroom this year, so I'm gonna go back to the master class sample that I think would work well with a teacher that's, that's representing future class one. What I can do is click on that student, let's say it was Maria, and I can hit shift again. I'm gonna hold shift down because that allows me to highlight um, columns at the same time. So holding shift and I'm gonna click the right arrow all the way across. Okay, whoops, too far. Then I'm going to do control C, which is copy or right click, and then you can copy. And then I'm gonna go back to this teacher, this third grade teacher that I think is good for Maria. And I'm going to control, hit control, hold control V or paste. I can always right click and paste as well. But you'll notice that all of this information um, is now in future class one's sheets. Whatever third grade teacher this is or whatever teacher this is now has this student in their class for next year. And you can see at the bottom that it has calculated, um, you know, how many high students um, in reading and math, if there's any speech, ESL, or IEPs, um, and that sort of information as well, um, which is good to know as you're creating these lists with your other grade level colleagues. Um, I wanted to show you two how, go all the way back to the sample, how if I have one student that has a lot of information like Henry right here, um, again, I'm going to hold down shift and hold the right key over, control C to copy. And let's say that Henry would make a good fit for future class number two. Then I'm gonna click here, control V to paste. Notice how all of the information comes over to this new sheet, right? Their academic behavioral plans, the specific information that I typed out. So once you've done this once, um, once you've filled out your master class, the class that you have this school year, it's super duper easy to just copy and paste, um, which is really nice. And then as your grade level is also populating the future classes, with their students, you can kind of see how many low students you have in math, how many high students you have in reading, um, and so on and so forth. 
And so hopefully this uh, tool will be something that you can use. It is totally customizable. Um, so if you want to add checkboxes somewhere, you now know how to do that. It's super easy. You go to insert checkbox. If you want to change the uh, headings up here, you can totally do that. If you want to add a column, um, if I've missed something that your school or your grade level usually does, you can add a column to the right side by clicking right insert column. Um, now for this specific example, because that column had a drop down menu, it also had a drop down menu. But I thought that having two academic and behavioral plan columns would be good in case there is a student that has speech but also gets pull out interventions or that gets pull out in for interventions but also is an EL ESL student. Um, so you might have students that fall into more than one of those categories. And so if you do, having two of those columns would be great. Um, but if you didn't want to have a drop down menu, you can choose a column that doesn't, insert column, and then you have a blank new column. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, what I really like about this tool is that you can use it with your grade level at the same exact time. So what you need to do is make a copy of this link. Like when you click on the link, it'll force the copy. You're gonna, you're gonna say create copy. Then up in the upper right hand corner, you're going to click share. And you can um, type in the names of your grade level colleagues right here in the blank, um, and then click that blue done button. Then they'll have access to this exact same document. So they can see your students, they can see their students, and they can see and work with um, the future classes as well. So I think it's a great tool where everything's all in the same spot and it should be rather easy um, to use. Now, really quickly before we go, I thought that it would be useful for you to know how to add um, if you wanted to add for whatever reason, if you had something here that you do at your school. I tried to cover most of the bases, but if you wanted to add um, one option for a drop down menu, I want to show you really quickly how to do that. So, what you'll need to do is highlight all of the cells that you would like to add a um, option to your drop down menu. So I'm going to highlight all of these, being careful not to get these cells down here. I'm going to go up to data and go to data validation. That's how I originally inserted these options here. So for criteria, I already clicked this, so it's already, already going to be on list of items, um, but make sure that that's what it's clicked on. And then you can um, add to the uh, options that I've listed here. So for example, um, if you have another option that you wanna list, um, like, like behavioral plan, like if you, this student has a specific behavioral plan that the teacher from last year implemented, um, that would be good to know for next year's uh, teacher. Um, that could be something that you add in the comment section, but it could also just, as, as an example here, be what you do uh, for the drop-down menu. You're going to click Save. Now, when you click the drop-down menu, behavioral plan is right there listed as an option. So remember to hit Shift in the down arrow to highlight the cells you want to edit. Go up to Data, Data Validation, and here is where you can find the list of items. And then uh, just add your item separate it with a comma and add it to the list below. So that's how you can kind of create a um, drop down menu or edit the drop down menu that's already there. Uh, so hopefully that is helpful to you as well. Um, I can't really think of anything else. I think that pretty much sums up um, everything I wanted to share. So hopefully you find this useful. Um, if you are not already uh, following my Facebook, um, The Sunny Side. Uh, if you're choosing to use this resource, I would really appreciate it if you would follow me um, to show your support um, or at least subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Um, I hope you enjoy this resource. Um, I made it with teachers in mind. So hopefully it's something that you can use and that's easy for you to use and that makes your lives easier during this crazy, stressful, and chaotic time. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you found this helpful.